Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Pierce Comb Honey Cutter. It's a American made product. Pierce is a reputable company. Uh, they make great hot knives and I'm excited to try this product out. I've read the instructions. Um, they're very simple and they're also printed on the control box. So you turn the cutter on to max for four minutes and then immediately turn down towards cutting zone until you reach desired temperature. The cutting zone is highlighted yellow and it's a range of five to seven and I have it set at six. So I already cut some. I did this video once and didn't have the microphone on, which is something I, I seem to do often. Um, <clears throat> I have some comb honey that I saved over from this summer. I've kept it in the freezer uh, to keep it from crystallizing and I've let it come to temperature. Uh, I use these two by four half cut containers from Blue Sky Beekeeping Company. I like them. Uh, they're a smaller cut for my customer base um, in this range that aren't buying wholesale comb. Um, I think it's better to have a smaller cut. The larger cuts, they carry a larger price tag. You're looking at around, you know, 15 to 20 dollars for a four by four cut. Uh, for a two by four cut, I charge ten dollars. I've seen them a little less and I've seen them up to twelve dollars. But uh, it's a smaller amount and it's easier for someone that just wants to sample it. Usually people that are wanting to try out comb or just have it for the novelty or have it for our charcuterie board, uh, this is a great size and it's what they would like to see. So this comb here, it's not quite as pretty as some of the ones I cut previously. But what I do to start out is I'll free the comb of the frame I have very little to cut at the bottom because it's a natural comb then I cut along the top bar these are shallow frames with a wedge top bar which I, I do not prefer but it's what I had when I made these I have commissioned to have thin groove top bars made in shallows the reason that i like shallows is because there's a lot less waste with your comb honey uh, they can fill out the combs much faster than they could say a medium or especially a deep and you can capture the flow easier especially if you're trying to do uh, varietal honey for my extracting supers i, I do all medium uh, that also helps me to keep it separate so I have no extracting combs and shallows. But the reason for the uh, commissioning the thin top bars is because it gives you just a little more wiggle room in that cut, uh, which, which helps in the filling of the containers and just having a little bit extra play. With a medium frame, there's nothing wrong with using mediums. They're, they're great. You end up with uh, quite a bit more waste on the frame from a leftover comb strip. The strip is not quite large enough really to fill uh, a jar to make an attractive chunk honey jar but I mean it's still usable uh, for samples or even if you want to cut it up put it in strips and put it in a jar it's just uh, for me it's not an attractive product and I try to sell uh, something that looks nice that the customer will like here's uh, some finished product from this summer I use a clear label that also acts as a tape to keep the lid on. And I like uh, a clear logo that just has a clear label that just has the logo on it because it really showcases the, the comb. So to the cutter. So usually on the sides, uh, you'll have a little area that you're going to want to trim off. So we'll just start and skip just a little bit and let that cutter 
glide down in there line it up let it guide down in there this is a little bit darker honey in this frame and it's actually from this fall I had some mixed in here but I can tell it's from this fall from the, the odor of the honey which isn't unpleasant it's just different and distinctive to our fall flow the cutters gliding easily and through there in the other video that I won't be showing you because I, I don't have sound on it I pushed a little too hard and cut the comb uh, broke the comb excuse me broke the comb so that's something that you won't have to worry about if the comb is fresh but if you have stored some in the in the freezer that's one thing so let's take a look what we have here nice clean cut did melt um little phrase Let's show you guys the cut. It's, it's clean. You can see where there's a little bit of um, melting on the side. But it is a very clean cut. had a little bit of water there to rinse my fingers off so let's test the fit we have a good fit so no problem trying to uh, cram it in there and it's all consistent which is what we want previously I've just been using a knife to cut it out just a comb knife and kinda go by eye occasionally I may uh, cut a piece that's that's not the right size it can get frustrating but for the most part you know you you get used to it and you cut it pretty well but I like this product. Uh, it makes it simple. Uh, of course, you could use it much quicker than, than I've demonstrated here, but I think it's a great product, and I'm excited to add that to my tool list for comb honey processing. So if you guys have any questions for me or any comments, let me know, uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video and get something out of it. Thank you. Well, I'm ending a little bit early, aren't I? Let's show you up close. What we're dealing with here. There's one with the lid off. And of course you can let this drain. Uh, some people prefer to let it drain. Some prefer to have a little bit of, of honey in the bottom. But uh, that's up to you. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Thank you.